explained why T-90M is a big failure to the Russian army. Every year on May 9th, the Victory Day Parade in Moscow displays the latest in Russian weaponry, and this year was no exception. On the parade ground, the guns looked impressive, but how well do Russia's high-tech weapons function on the battlefield? Let's uncover this in this video. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's begin! According to reliable Russian reports, the country is experiencing production and complexity issues. As if the technical issues weren't enough, the country is also in trouble financially. If all goes according to plan, which is rare in any military procurement program, full-scale manufacture of this tank will begin this year, too late for this phase of the Ukrainian war. The first known loss in action of the T-90M, the most fearsome tank in Russian combat duty today, which also made an appearance at the parade, was far more alarming to Russian generals in the long run. The T-90M, one of Russia's most modern tanks, was destroyed just days after being delivered to Ukraine, according to sources. On Wednesday, Ukrainian journalist Andrei Sapolinko shared a photo of the burnt car from the Kharkiv region, which he claimed had recently been seized by Ukrainian forces. Saul Polinko joked that the ruined tank is hot, it's smoking hot, in a shot of himself stated in front of it. According to the journalist, the Russian military attempted to recover the land on Wednesday but was unsuccessful. The fragments of Russia's damaged tank will be shown in a parade honoring World War II's end on May 9th, according to Saul Polinko. In a statement released on Thursday, Ukraine's Ministry of Defense confirmed the T-90's fate, stating the fighting vehicle dubbed Breakthrough had reached Ukraine just one week before its destruction. As a result, the Russian army's image, which many across the world dreaded, has deteriorated and plummeted to such a degree in the last two months that few could have anticipated, the report stated. The tank was hit by Ukrainian forces with an American Javelin anti-tank missile system near Izium, according to the Defense Ministry. An MTLB armored personnel carrier and an infantry combat vehicle were also destroyed in the strike, according to the agency. The missile system reduced a super-modern Russian tank into a pile of scrap metal, the Defense Ministry stated in a statement. According to The Drive, the T-90M tank, one of Russia's newest additions to the T-90 series, is the most technologically advanced war vehicle in Russia's frontline inventory and was initially issued to Russian military divisions in the spring of 2020. Only roughly 100 models are currently in use, according to the outlet. The T-14 Armada from Russia is newer than the T-90M, yet it is still in production. The T-90M is fitted with a powerful engine, panoramic sight with rangefinder, a thermal internal imaging channel, and a firing control system, according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. According to the government, the new design includes multi-layered protection and ammo placed outside the unit. The tank's multi-channel sight allows it to fire at any time of day. All these modifications do not appear to have aided the T-90M, which is already being regarded as Ukraine's first verified loss of a tank of this type, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. Russia experienced yet another setback last month when its Black Sea flagship Moska sank after being targeted by a Ukrainian missile. So let's see what's packed in the Russian T-90M. The T-90M is an upgrade of the T-90 tank. This tank is also known as the Proirev 3 or Breakthrough 3. It was made public for the first time in 2017. It is a significant upgrade over the original T-90. It is based on the T-90MS tank, which was built for export and shares several components with it. In 2017, the Russian army tested the T-90M. In the same year, a deal was signed to provide a first batch of T-90M tanks to the Russian army, as well as to modify another 20 T-90A tanks to T-90AM standards. The first batch is expected to be delivered in 2019. In 2021, it was stated that this tank would be delivered in large numbers to the Russian army. The armor protection on the T-90M tank has been increased. It replaces the preceding Contact 5 with the built-in Relict Explosive Reactive Armor, or ERA. It protects against tandem warheads while also reducing APF-SDS round penetration. Rubber side skirts with integrated armor plates are installed on the T-90M. A cage armor and unique net cover some portions of the tank, providing better protection against anti-tank weaponry. MBC protection and automated fire suppression equipment are installed on this tank. Small liner covers the interior. 
A countermeasure system is also included, which activates smoke grenade dischargers when the tank is illuminated by a laser beam. This technology minimizes the likelihood of being struck by hostile anti-tank guided weapons that use semi-automatic guidance. The T-90M is equipped with a new TA-46M4 gun that has a longer range and is 15-20% to 20 more accurate than the T-90 standard 2A-46M rifle. It fires 125mm ammunition like other Russian main combat tanks. It is capable of firing APF-SDS, HE, and HE frag rounds. Anti-tank guided missiles 9M119 Reflex, with a Western reporting name of AT-11 or Sniper B, can be launched from the tank in the same way as regular munitions. These missiles can engage low-flying helicopters and have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers. The main gun carries a total of 43 rounds, including missiles. A proven carousel-type autoloader is used in the T-90M. The autoloader holds a total of 22 bullets that are ready to fire. A coaxial 7.62mm machine gun serves as secondary armament. A remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun is also installed on the roof. Both machine guns are used while wearing armor. A new fire control system and improved observation and targeting equipment have been added to the T-90M. This new Russian tank can participate in hunter-killer combat. To find targets, the tank commander employs a panoramic sight with thermal vision. When the target is chosen, the gun is automatically put on the target, and the gunner completes the aiming and firing process. Commander searches for the next target during this period. When the target is chosen, the gun is automatically put on the target and the gunner completes the aiming and firing process. Commander searches for the next target during this period. Furthermore, the target acquisition system automatically tracks specified targets. The new tank is said to be 15-20% to 20 more accurate than its predecessor. The T-90M tank seen in 2021 includes a telescopic mast with optical sensors which could be used for observation when the tank is entrenched or hidden. The commander, gunner, and driver make up the crew of this main battle tank. A V92S2 multi-fuel diesel engine with 1,000 horsepower powers this tank. It also has an auxiliary power unit that keeps all systems running even when the primary engine is shut off. The vehicle has a self-entrenching blade built in and can build an emplacement in 12 to 40 minutes depending on the ground type. A mine plow is available for purchase. A deep wading kit is also available, which can be installed by the tank crew in under 20 minutes. The tank can ford water barriers up to 5 meters deep after the kit is f And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed the video. And if so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. And you can also check out other videos we have that have been specially selected for you and we'll catch up with you in the following video.